right, everyone, we are now opening up the Exosuit Commander Pack. This is the expansion to Anachrony. Uh, this will allow you to play with minis and also introduces a new module. So let's check it out. I don't think I need the scissors to open up this part, but we'll see. Ah, see, I got it. Very excited about this part. I like miniatures a lot, so <laughs> I like that cover too. All right, so we're jumping right in. This is the only die that comes in the expansion pack. It's for the uh, the new module that comes with it. Plus well, uh, cards. We have some new player boards. It looks like some another uh, track probably for the new module. Uh, the box size isn't too bad. Um, actually, it's not too bad at all. It's kind of like a classic board game box, so it's not too awkward at all. Again, we have new uh, rule books specifically for the expansion. Again, in all three different languages. All right, and now we get into what everybody's been waiting for is the miniatures. These look amazing. And they're taped. I'm not even going to try to fight with it. I'm just going to cut it open. The tape, not the uh, <laughs> packaging. Right. Oh, there's tape everywhere. It might be the angle of the camera, because just holding the box and everything, it's not bad at all. They are big boxes, but it's totally worth it for everything that comes inside of it, so. Alright. So now we have our minis. We have six of each one. This is the uh, the Chronobot Mini. It's pretty cool. I'm actually going to switch over to the other camera because I think you can see it better, a little bit better over here. Check that out. So that is our Chronobot Mini. Six of those guys. <laughs> He's got a strange, interesting uh, face on him. Then we have Harmony. Again, six of those. Harmony is all about nature, and you can kind of see that uh, they've got like vines running through this one and uh, kind of uses plant life, so that's pretty cool. We have uh, Dominance, which is the, uh, the blue water based path. That's why you have kind of a squid like mech, pretty cool. Love these guys. We have Progress. It's our yellow mechs. I don't know if I can get them any closer. It starts to get a little blurry then, but you get the idea. These guys are huge. These are actually uh, 55 millimeter minis. And finally, the Salvation uh, minis. These guys uh, actually remind me of kind of old sci fi. Um, like lost in space kind of mechs. <laughs> Pretty cool. If you didn't notice, uh, in the tops of these guys you have these little slots. And the cool thing about that, let me see if I can find them, is that when you have your workers, your workers will slide right down into there. So that's how you assign a worker to a mech. Pretty cool. So 
know the minis are the, the best part, but don't go away because we have a few more things to look at. Oh, they do remind me of Fifth Element, Element Aliens. That's really cool. Yeah, these guys. Is it these guys that remind you of them? Because those guys are cool. Actually, all of them kind of remind me of it. Have that hunched over, big robot sort of look. All right, so I'm opening up these boards here. The only, the only boards that came with the extension. It's not a lot. So what you have, you have exosuit upgrade boards. These guys here, one for each path. Really cool artwork. And then we have our guardian board. Guardians of the Council is the uh, the new module, I believe, that came with it. Or it's the Pioneers of New Earth module. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh man, just the coolest art. I love that. That's really cool. And this here is the adventure board, which is, again, something new to the expansion. Kind of like your, uh, uh, your doomsday board. You'll be able to uh, assign, I believe, multiple mechs to, uh, to the board there. All right, and then we have cards, standard size cards. Ah, I got it without the scissors. So proud of myself. All right. And in this, of course, we have our adventure cards. We also, I believe, have our... Uh, we have multiple adventure cards, actually. So we have uh, different levels of adventure cards. I don't know how the adventure thing works, but you have these uh, little ratings down here with the uh, fist. And you have cards that are five and up or 10 and up. Like that guy. He actually even shows you right here. <laughs> last but not least, well, not even last. We are gonna, like I said, the uh, the die is the only die that comes in the the expansion, and it has to do with the adventure. Finally, we have just a couple of these uh, little cards. One is your end game condition card. Um, for just the, the Pioneers of the New Earth, and then the other one is the uh, Endgame Condition card for Guardians of the Council. Alright, so that is it for what's inside of the Exosuit Commander Pack. Uh, adds a lot to your game, even though it doesn't add a ton of cards and a ton of stuff. Uh, the mechs alone, I think, add a whole lot of, uh, of feeling to your, your game. I actually didn't notice these guys have little faces. <laughs> That's really cool. I love these uh, these minis. And this is going to be an incredibly fun game. If you don't know the story of Anachrony, I highly suggest that you go to uh, anachronyboardgame.com. It's really cool. They have this really in-depth story of how uh, this world came to be and how these different paths came to be and what each path uh, you know stands for and what their leader, who their leaders are and, who, and what they're like and even gives you some really cool uh, details about the mechs too. So that is it for what's inside of Anachrony. Like I said, you can go to funagain.com and click on the Notify Me button on the Anachrony product page, and we will let you know when the pre-orders are up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.